starting outside the car and hopefully your car has been sitting for a while with all the doors closed, you will want to quickly get in the car and turn off all the lights. This will prevent your bulb from getting too hot and burning your hand. And using a flathead, or preferably a trim tool, and as you can see I substituted a metal credit card instead, pry the front of the light fixture out. You may not need to disconnect the fixture from the wires, but I did just so it would be easier to show you. And to remove the bulb housing, just turn it counterclockwise. Then just pull your old bulb straight out and pop your new one in. Next, twist the housing back in clockwise. If the bulb does not fit this way, you can put the bulbs in through the front. And for this, you'll need a screwdriver and preferably one with a magnetic tip. Now you will want to unplug the light fixture by pressing down on the side tabs and pulling out just to make the process easier. Then unscrew these two screws to remove the front cover. Next, insert your bulb through the front. And go ahead and repeat the necessary process for the other sockets. Once you've replaced all the bulbs, make sure you test them before putting everything back together. If a bulb does not turn on, you may need to flip it to the correct polarization. Next, just screw the front cover back on. And as you can see, I don't have a magnetic tip screwdriver, so I had to flip everything upside down. Then plug the fixture back in and put the fixture back into place. Backside first, then the front, and you're all done. Hope that helps, and thanks for watching.